So hey everyone, thanks for coming to this video. And this video is going to be very, very special because today we have a special guest with us. We have an ICSE board. You can call her a topper. 99.5% is not a small thing. 99.5% lana yaar sabke bas ki baat nahi hai. Also, apart from being a 99.5% scorer, she got an all India rank within 100 in VID triple examination. Currently, she is pursuing computer science from Bits Pilani Pilani campus. So I welcome you Ashwarya on Success Infinity and I would just like you to give the audience a brief introduction about yourself. Okay, so thank you for having me here and my name is Ashwarya Sam. I'm from Jamshedpur. I appeared for my board exams this year and currently I'm pursuing computer science at Bits Pilani. Okay, so that's great. So let's directly move on to our very first question. So Ashwarya, please tell us that what were your subjects in your class 12th and how many hours you have to give to each subject per day while your preparation? Okay, so for uh, my subjects, I had physics, chemistry, math, computer applications, and English. And SA, her subject, ko, I didn't allot uh, specific time slots because in our school, mein we had many tests and exams regularly. Okay. So, unke according, I had my study patterns aligned. So, that way, I managed all the subjects. Okay. And can you name some books that you used for each subject? Yeah. So for books, uh, physics and chemistry, I uh, followed NCRT thoroughly. Okay. And for maths, I used ML Agarwal. For computer applications, uh, I think the school notes were enough. I didn't follow any book. Okay. So do you think the books that you used are sufficient for the board's preparation? Yeah, totally. I think NCRT is sufficient uh, specifically for chemistry. NCRT is sufficient for JE mains too, like for right. inorganic. Yeah. And uh, board exams, NCRTs are more than enough. Okay. So Ashwarya, ab yaar main ye jana chata hun that uh, what was your schedule during your preparation days? Like, kya pehle se apna pura ka pura month or the upcoming week pehle se ab schedule kar lete the? You planned all the subjects, all the topics that you need to cover or was it just random? So uh, I didn't have any schedule or plan as such, but uh, since there were many unit tests in our school, like mostly on Mondays and like fortnightly we had so that way i managed my studies along with that and it was mostly random preparation like along okay. with school so okay and aise kuch chapters rahe honge na jo aap log aapke liye bhi difficult rahe honge because there is a general preoccupied notion in people's mind ki agar koi 99% la raha hai to uske liye to sab kuch easy raha hoga but I think kuch kuch chapters to rahe honge jis you think that you might have to work a little bit more harder than other chapters. So can you name them and also tell the people that how you master those subjects? Okay, so for physics, uh, semiconductors and devices, this was one chapter that was very troublesome for me. And uh, chemistry, I always struggled with inorganic. And for maths, I had a little problem with integration because that is really time demanding. Right. So for these uh, chapters, what I did was I uh, went through them again and again so that every time I went through them, uh, my concepts became more clear. And these chapters are not formula based. Like for inorganic, we have to just keep things in mind. That is uh, a tough job for me. So I used to do that again and again so that maybe I remember something, you know, like memory, past memory, somewhere like that. Okay. And about integration, like how did you manage to master that? Yeah. Like, yeah. So for integration, like I said, I used YouTube extensively for uh, my math preparation specifically. Okay. So for integration, I solved the past year questions of ISC as well as CBSC. So okay. I practiced integration that way. And so, JEE preparation was going on. So. so basically practicing is the key, right? Yeah. For math, it is. Okay. After your school completed your syllabus, uh, it was, I think, it must have been all com all up to yourself that how to revise, how to revise, how to revise, how to revise, how to revise. So, did you target the easy ones first or did you target the hard ones first? And what was the reasoning behind that? Okay, so uh, I followed this pattern. I did one easy subject with a hard one, one easy okay. topic with a hard one. So that way I wouldn't reach my saturation level too soon. And that's how I managed revising. Okay, so that's a quite fascinating and innovative way. I don't know this thing. So I got content for a new video. Ke liye. <laughs> <laughs> so was there pre-boards in your school? Like in December or January before boards? Yeah, yeah, we had pre-boards. Okay, and would you like to share with us your score in that? 
so i i don't remember like specifically but most of them were around 80s 70s okay. like that us mm-hmm. time tak preparation bhi complete nahi hui hogi nahi so was that yeah so was that highly demotivating because i feel that many people just got demotivated after their pre boards okay so pre board like we thought beforehand ki pre board is going to be a tough one to okay. deal with so pre board ke baad demotivation nahi hui thi because we knew ki that is one tough thing to do so after that and in most of the cases pre board se kafi easy hota hai board so yeah, pre board right. ke marks se demotivate nahi hona chahiye okay so that's that's really great so ashwarya next uh, i would like to know that what was your revision strategy in each subject like uh, exactly what you did after completing your syllabus how you revised each topic each chapter okay so my for my revision strategy i had this habit of making single sheet notes so okay. i would list all the important concepts in physics um, on a single sheet for each chapter and then i would go through them again and again whenever there was a test or an exam so that's how i dealt with physics and for chemistry i used to read the ncert and for maths i uh, followed youtube okay so in chemistry didn't you make any notes like the one page notes you mentioned in physics did you do it for chemistry as well no for chemistry actually inorganic is very vast so when i right it wasn't possible so i actually followed what you had told in one of your videos so i made a separate notebook where i wrote all the reactions so okay. i didn't make any such notes apart from the reaction so i had reactions in one place and then i would go through them whenever i had a test or anything okay so that's really great that one of my videos has benefited because mujhe khud ko self doubt hota hai that whatever i am telling is it really uh, practical or is or can it really be implemented so that's great it's de- it definitely is okay thanks thanks for the compliment and Uh, like you have mentioned i think for the second or third time that you practice mathematics from youtube so can you tell exactly what youtube channels you followed and what was your strategy while watching those youtube videos did you solve the sums simultaneously or did you solve them after watching the complete video what was the strategy okay so i have this habit of watching videos on double speed so i never okay. watch them uh, live so i would attend like to name a few channels an academy was one vedantu was one like all the channels the most popular ones they right. deliver very good content and right. so like i used to follow them and what they did was specifically target the past year questions be it yeah. for je mains or for boards exactly. so that way i think past year questions are the key for everything so if we do past year questions then for je mains as well and for boards so that is how i followed the maths preparation okay and how many times you revised your syllabus like was it 5 to 10 times as it is generally conceived <laughs> <laughs> no not really actually the entire syllabus i didn't revise but i had this uh, i had one thing clear that i had to revise those topics that are coming more frequently in the previous years more yes. than the ones that are not regular so that way i wouldn't get saturated too so i revised those topics that are most frequently asked for chemistry i think in organic there is a specific pattern to the questions so in organic if you go to uh, go and try to study in organic uh, from the ncert it's little tough so what you should do is uh, study the past year questions first uh, analyze them as to what sort of questions have been coming and then go back to the ncert search the answers and then try and make notes from there so that is what i did and for physics like i said the single sheet notes that i had and yes. apart from that the previous year questions for maths uh, youtube and the previous year questions okay so that's that's really great because मैंने काफी लोगों को इंटरव्यू करा एंड मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर नॉट एबल टू प्रेसाइसली टेल दैट व्हाट वाज द स्ट्रेटजीज सो इट्स रियली ग्रेट दैट यू एक्चुअली नो व्हाट वर्क्ड फॉर यू वेल एंड व्हाट डिंट वर्क फॉर यू सो दैट्स हाईली अप्रिशिएबल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट डिड यू फील एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दैट इट्स नॉट गोइंग वेल एंड यू आर नॉट स्कोरिंग एज यू हैड डिजायर्ड और एज मच हार्ड वर्क यू हैड पुट इन सो एंड हाउ डिड यू कोप अप विद सच अ सिचुएशन Okay, so there were many times when I felt like all my efforts are going in vain, especially on the JE part and lesser on the school part. Mm-hmm. So, but I had uh, and I have extremely supportive friends. So whenever okay. I had this issue, I used to reach out to them, and they would help me out. And when um, it came to dealing it myself on my own, then I would take some time off, take a break, and relax for a bit. And what did you do exactly in your break time? Like, did you watch any movies so, or so? Yeah so in my break time I love playing football actually so I used okay. to play football whenever I get time uh, and uh, I watched movies as well I watched series too so okay. <laughs> yeah Okay so that's interesting 
uh, अब ऐश्वर्या मैं आपसे ये जानना चाहता हूँ दैट वॉट डू यू थिंक वॉज द बिगेस्ट मिस्टेक ड्यूरिंग ऑफ बोर्ड्स प्रेपरेशन आई एम फोकसिंग अपॉन बोर्ड्स करेंटली एंड वॉट इज द वन थिंग दैट यू विल कंसिडर एज एन एसेट टू योर प्रेपरेशन okay so the biggest mistake i i repeated this in my 10th board as well i didn't practice a lot of mock tests time bound mock tests so while writing the paper like during the exam i realized that i would have been a lot more confident if i would have practiced before so time bound mock test practice that is one thing where i felt i lagged behind and for for the asset i think i never expected a lot from myself so that is how i never felt nervous before any exam so okay. that was one asset to my preparation i think okay so next question ashwarya is were there any times when you didn't want to study at all like sometimes it comes out of frustration sometimes it comes because we have over exerted ourselves towards the studies or we have over uh, set our goals so in that times what did you do like you bilkul padhna chhod diya ya fir you just consistently studied over small intervals no there were many times when i didn't want to study at all and during those times again i would take a break and i would just leave studying for a day or two so okay. that's how i got back on track because if i tried and studied it would not help me a lot it would make me even more frustrated yeah so i just left everything for a day or two kafi bachcho ki ek ye bhi problem hoti hai ki break lene ke baad fir wapas wo momentum gain hi nahi kar pate so kaise kuch aapko problem aayi thi ye cheez yes uh, a lot of times kafi baar aisa hua hai and what i used to do was i i actually have this tendency of guilt pleasure so whenever uh, i had uh, i enjoyed a lot then i thought ki ab to padhna padega so that is how i gave myself the guilt to come okay. one way that helped me yeah so finally um, the last question for this interview was there a percentage target in your mind during preparation or you just prepared based upon uh the joyness and you are enjoying the subject you just studied for that or was there any percentage target okay to be honest there was no percentage target in my mind and getting the percentage that i've got right now to it's pretty unbelievable for me but um, i never had this percentage target and i was more focused on the je main side rather than the board exam side like most of us are during right. our preparation in the two right. years right. so that that's why i didn't have any particular target Okay, so that's pretty much conclude our interview. Uh, as well, I would just like you to uh, say few few words to our audience who are going to give their board exams in twenty one. Uh, just few pieces of advice, your experience, whatever you learned for from your preparation. Uh, okay, so I think you should never sacrifice your uh, studies for the fun stuff. but at the same time you should never leave the fun stuff for your studies so okay. there should be this balance and you have to uh, practice that because once you get to college it's going to be just the same so you have to manage uh, your studies along with the activities here so striking that balance is important and enjoy high school because you're not going to get it again so mm-hmm. and for those who are going to appear in 2021 you've already struggled a lot and i think you guys will do great just stick there just hang in there a little more time and you'll be there so that was a wonderful answer and uh, you you talked about balancing studies as well as fun so uh, can you dive deep into this that how one can properly balance these two stuff okay so like i said i uh, during school time i was uh, pretty involved in all the activities so over there we it was time consuming and we had to visit the school also multiple times yeah. so for that whenever i came back home i took rest i didn't start studying just like immediately after returning because that would make me frustrated and so i took breaks i enjoyed everything i went for parties i did everything but at the same time i kept in mind that i don't have to sacrifice my studies for that so again the pleasure guilt thing okay <laughs> so that means the focus was so strong that it pulled yourself towards the goal like automatically yeah so i never left an option for me so i had to study anyway because i had procrastinated so much so <laughs> okay that way okay so that was a fantastic uh, talking with you ashwarya and i hope the viewers must also have got something highly valuable through this interview एंड अगर आप चैनल पर नए हैं देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट इस वीडियो को यार ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों तक शेयर करिए ताकि ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों का फायदा हो सके एंड प्लीज यार अभी तक आपने लाइक नहीं कराया तो लाइक जरूर करना है वीडियो को 
and do comment if you want to know much more upon how you can prepare for the exams especially for bitsat exams you would get more than 150 videos on this channel and stay happy stay focused and keep preparing for the exam and let's meet in the next video till then have a nice day have a great time and thanks ashwarya thanks a lot for coming to our channel and thank you for bye -bye. having me here <laughs> it's a pleasure for us okay so <laughs> bye let's meet in the next video